Well, hello everybody. Cobra 148 and 2SE 29999 time. 29999. Yeah, three nines. But anyways, time to see if this actually really does anything. Uh, you know, on camera. I know that it doesn't it doesn't work as advertised, but you know, I get asked about it cuz I'm pretty much I said that it doesn't work as advertised people are like well show me not working as advertised because I think it works because the spec sheet of the transistor says this yeah okay you know from the guys who are looking at specification you know at um, uh, at data sheets uh, they, they see a number that's bigger and then automatically that just translates into uh, a bigger better uh, you know, not realizing that there's a whole lot more involved with with a receiver than um, than than just changing a transistor. But you know, there's some threads on the internet where two guys go at it, and it gets disproven by the math, and they're still arguing. Real world, real world, real world. And then the guy who disproved it with the math disproved it with the um, with the actual measurements and uh, but real world I just measured it real world and it doesn't work uh, well it but I think it works and you see I think that we're getting to the to the crux of the issue is if I go and I shed uh, I, I shell out uh, you know 50 uh, US dollars for this modification um, I'm, I, I'm gonna well I spent fifty dollars on it so I once you spend the money, you just get that. It, I don't understand it. Once the money changes hands, they think they got something, and that if and that just seems to be all that there really is to it. Well, I paid money for it, so it must work. <laughs> okay, uh, snake oil. Uh, you know, salesmen they they make a lot of money and. I, I'm telling you that it's snake oil, and then but they're gonna say, oh, you know, but uh, they're selling you an experience, I think, more so than a product. They're selling, they're giving you the experience of spending your money, and therefore, because you spent the money, it must work. So, uh, okay, um, you know, if it uh, if it makes you feel better and you to 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 to, uh, to spend your money, then spend your money. Um, but I'm telling you, it doesn't work. Um, However, there is a little bit of truth to it, and uh, I'll go and I'll uh, I'm, I'll show you why. So, anyways, here's my 148, one that I use, and I actually have a 2SE2999 in it. Now, what I'm leaving out is the letter at the end, because that's where the difference is, and it's opposite from what they tell you. So. I've got an E right here, and just to prove that I've got an E, because people are going to say, how do I know that's an E? How do I know that's not a D? It's an E. Um, well, how do I know you didn't get it from China? Well, that's a completely different other subject, but this will probably establish that right now. 178, okay? Um, which seems to be interesting because depending on where I put the leads it'll be higher and I think that that's just the uh, various characteristics of the analyzer and how clean the leads are on the transistor. They're old stock 205 it, it, it's just it's I think that the legs are not that clean they're old stock parts I, it took me a while to get some um, I measured it consistently at over 190 in the 200. It's going to vary every time you really kind of sort of measure it. it. The leads are oxidized a little bit. If I clean them up, I bet I can get a more consistent read. But I'm going to solder the blasted thing in, so that'll clean it up just fine. Anyway, you can see that it's a, it's the genuine deal. I have a D in here. So I'm going to turn on the power supply. I've already got it set up. Turn this thing down. Um, signal generator is at 0.5 microvolts at 27.205 megahertz or channel 20 in the states original specifications that are in the uh 1983 dated uh i've got a pdf of it on my phone here say 
sensitivity, single sideband, 0.25 microvolts for 10 dB. AM, 0.5 microvolts for 10 dB. So, you know, okay, 0.5 microvolts for 10 dB. All right, well, what I've got that you can't really see up here on my cyanide meter, but you can hear the noise. There it is, there's the one color tone. Um, is I'm sitting at, na at 19 dB right now. That's really good, really good. That's nine dB more than it's spec that. You know, hey, that's fantastic. So, you know, uh, you know, for those playing along at negative 19 dB cyanide, that's really good. I mean, that's, that's really good. Um, you know, you can't really argue that right there. That's friggin' phenomenal. Good radio, you know, it's, it, 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 that's phenomenal. That's very good, that's very good gain. Um, very good, no, you know, noise, uh, I've got a good noise floor on this receiver. That's phenomenal, you know, I'm at 0.5 microvolts. That's what they spec it as. So, um, let's see, if I change my, uh, which is, you know, for those, you know, not doing the conversion, 0.5 microvolts is, um, that's uh, negative uh, 113 uh, dB. Um, so let's go lower. Let me put this damn signal generator on dB because I know a lot of people are looking at, oh, I don't know, microvolts to dB. Uh, you can convert it. Anyways, um, negative 113. So there's our signal, 100, 113. Going down, 114, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're at negative 8 dB, so we're, we're, we're in the hash now. Uh, negative 120 dB. That's better than the uh, better than the specifications. Let's give it to let's get it to 10. Uh, going up slowly. That's uh, negative 118.5. So, which is 0.265 millivolts. So, that's you know. That's a fair. That's a fairly, uh, fairly good measurement. That's we're we're exceeding. We're pretty much exceeding the specifications of the radio here. I mean, they say it's you know 10 dB at 0.5 microvolts, and I'm at uh, 0.26 microvolts, and you know 0.27 microvolts, and it's you know 10 dB. Uh, that's good. I like it. I'm happy with it. Now, what happens when I put this in? When I put this uh, 2SC2999E into the radio, what happens? So, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to pull out the D, and then I'm going to measure it so that people don't say, oh, all you did was swap it, swap, uh, uh, you know, E for E, um, you know, or something like that. You know, you put a, you put a, uh, you put a worse transistor in there. You know, something like that. Because the transistor that's in here uh, has less gain than the one I'm going to put in. And that sounds counterintuitive, but uh, we'll get to that. So I'm going to get out. I can get this damn thing out. Here's our D right here. So let's measure this D. You know, make no mistake, we're what, we want to make sure that it has less gain than that one. So we're going to Use our component analyzer again, and we're going to look at it, and we're going to see what it says. Same thing, 84. So, yes. There you go. So there's our old part. That's, that's, that's there. Just not, not going to bother unclipping it for the moment. And now I'm going to put in the E, and we're going to see what happens. Get you in there. I think it's in there. Yep, I see three legs sticking out. So, solder this in and see what happens. I know this isn't very scientific, but this is, I'm just doing what they say they do. They, oh, we just swap a transistor and we don't even adjust the radio. And I'm not going to adjust the radio. All you're doing is swapping a transistor. That's all I'm doing. I'm just swapping a transistor. So, here we go. We're going to swap.
Oh, I got my E in there. Okay, didn't, didn't, I haven't touched anything. You know, got a tool, I ain't touching it. So, we're gonna turn it on. So where are we? We're gonna go 0.5 microvolts. Oh, we're at negative 12 D, uh, dB sign ad. What happened to the 19? Ho, ho, ho. It's noisier than it was before. Well, gee, who would have thought? You put a transistor with more uh, that with more gain in there, you got more noise. The noise floor, the noise characteristic of this particular transistor is better, but you got more noise in it, and I'm at negative 12 dB sinad now. I've lost in my receiver 7 dB. I've added 7 dB to the noise floor just by swapping that blasted thing out. I've added a substantial amount of noise to this thing. Well, I thought that that's all they were doing. Now, how could the D be better than, than the E? And I'm not going to show it because I don't think that we're going to disagree with this. When I had the 1674 in, which I don't even know where it's around here someplace, it was actually performing worse with that transistor than with the D variant. The D I actually got like a dB reduction on the noise floor and, or, or sign ad. I went from 18 to 19. I'll take that improvement. Um, I also went, you know, got a little bit better gain on it because there's a little bit, but not much between that and this. It's, it's, it's minuscule, but it was kind of noticeable Eh, you know, it, I don't know that it would have been worth to swap, in all honesty. Um, but I did get a little bit better noise uh, 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 reduction in there. So, there's some truth to this thing. That's just what I'm getting at. There's some truth to this. But when I put the E variant in it, it's far worse. Now it's at negative 12. Well, how low can I go now with, uh, with this? Can I get to the roughly, you know, 120, negative 120 dB that I had before? Uh, I'm at, you know, negative 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm at negative 3 sine ad, dB sine ad. It's way worse. It's worse. So, anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. You just can't swap this thing out with the biggest, baddest, you know, uh, uh, highest gain transistor that you can find and expect it to just work. It just isn't that simple, guys. So if you want to spend, uh, you know, 50 US dollars swapping this part out, because it makes you feel good, then swap it out because it makes you feel good. But for me, I'm going to put my 2SE2999D back in because that's what I ironically use this radio with and not its high power, high, more higher powered uh, brother because its higher power brother just adds more noise to the receiver. Yes, more signal, more noise. Anyway, uh, if you go look around on the on the internet, you're going to find the argument between the two guys where they were arguing about the D and the E, and the one guy was like, look, the D works better than the E. Okay, here's why. Here's the measurements. The spectrum analyzer got all kinds of gear hooked up to the thing, showing the guy, look, this is it. And they still have the snake oil technician. I've been working on radios for 30 years, and I don't need no blasted spectrum analyzer. I can do it by ear. Bullshit. You can't do it by ear. I can't do it by ear. I need a, a, a an instrument to do it. Uh, you just can't tell these things by ear. Nice try, though. So, anyways, if you're going to do this 2SC2999 modification, use the D, not the E. Um tweak the receiver because I had to do that after switching from the 2SC uh, 1674 or whatever it is. Um, 
you can you can tweak this thing up and you can get some very good performance out of your 148s quite simply just by by doing a proper receiver alignment with instruments because you can't do it by ear uh, uh ac voltmeter uh cyanide meter um you know a properly calibrated uh signal generator all the works you could get some very good performance out of this uh, as you can see with my d mind you i've already tried to tweak the receiver with the e variant and i can't get the performance that i can out of the d i think it, it you know it would take a lot more time and a lot more equipment to analyze exactly what's going on here but i mean i it, it's clearly a noise problem uh more so than it is a signal problem um you're amplifying more noise and you're probably overwhelming uh some of the uh, receiver stages with more noise so anyways um sorry guys i wish i could tell you that using the e was the best way to go i've come out swinging against the e for that reason it looks too good to be true it probably is so anyways uh, take care of yourselves, guys, and don't put any 2SC2999Es in your radio.